my lifestyle it's Lushawn if you just found my channel welcome and if you are returning welcome back thank you so much for supporting me here on Lushawn's lifestyle I truly do appreciate you as I always say from my right now to my A1 since day one I do thank you for supporting my channel today's video is my paycheck number two allocation um, for the month of April. So let's go ahead and get into those numbers. Alrighty, so this is the page where I will be putting in my bills and expenses for the month, or oh, for paycheck number two. I am a salary employee. I get paid um, twice a month on the 6th and on the 19th. So this um, paycheck will be for the uh, upcoming date of April 19th. Um, the amount that I will be budgeting off of for this paycheck from my, from my salary is um, going to be $2,900. And of course, I'll be getting that on the 19th. That will cover my bills and expenses through the end of the month. I will also have rollover as well and this is rollover from paycheck number one to help with bills and expenses for this paycheck and oh let me bring y'all in that's kind of far okay um and the amount that i will be rolling will be 33703 and then i always keep a, a space for mana station for anything that comes in so but I will only be budgeting off of the um, 2900 and the 33703 which totals three thousand two hundred thirty seven dollars and three cents for this paycheck all right so let's go ahead and get into the bills and expenses and how much are we going to budget? The actual, if there's any changes, and then of course the variance or plus or minus. Um, I don't have some my ruler with me to make a line, but it'll be okay. All right, so first and foremost, um, I have a transfer to my household bill account. And this account basically, um, both I and the dude put money into here and we pay the household bill, such as mortgage, utilities, groceries, you know, lawn care, things of that nature. So for this paycheck, I will be transferring $1,205. Next will be tolls. And currently I've been putting $25 a month towards tolls because I work from home um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I only go in the office on Monday and Wednesday. So I really didn't need a whole lot of money on my toll account. However, um, plot twist, uh, we were on our Zoom staff meeting um, on Monday, the, what was that, the 12th. And we were told that most likely since all of the you know vaccinations are going out and people are getting those done and whatnot um myself included uh we will probably all migrate back into the office at august in august and i think what they're doing is trying to um accommodate the uh, employees that are still homeschooling their kids because they haven't let schools you know you have a choice here where i live to either do it uh, online or they can go in but i think most likely they're gonna have every, all the kids going back um for the school year in august so i think that's when we'll that's when we're told to go back so i think that's what they're doing to kind of coordinate that make it easier for the parents who have their kids um doing online schooling and they've been home been able to help 
Anywho, so I'm, I'm gonna have to increase my tolls, probably make that adjustment in August if I start going back in every day. Next is um, student loan A. I have two of these, same creditor. So I have student loan A and that I put $35 towards and then student loan B that I put $75 towards that. And then I have car insurance and that is 140.16. And uh, within a couple of more months, I won't have this as a line item in my budget. It'll actually be just in my sinking funds because um, I'm paying it now and I'm sinking funds for it because I want to start paying it every six months. So that is that. So that is the total of my bills and expenses. And that comes to $1,480.16. Okay, next we have variables. So my variables for this paycheck will be sinking funds. So uh, my sinking funds, um, I will be putting $300 towards my sinking funds. And then I'll have my debt snowball. My current debt snowball item is my American Express goal that I'm working on and that will be paid off in the summer. And um, currently for this month, I'm putting $400 towards my um, snowball. Then I have um, my rollover to go into the month of May. And I do that because I want to be able to close out my budget at the end of every month and because of how I get paid this bill this um, paycheck would cover bills coming up before my next pay of the um, coming month but what I do is now just set a rollover amount um, that way I'm able to uh, roll that into the new month and pay those bills um, before um, my next pay. However, I'm still able to close out my month the way I've always done it. So my rollover will be $1,053.84. And then um, all that's left would be my miscellaneous or do what I want account. And this is a part of my 2021 savings challenges. So for this month, it will be Three, or this paycheck is 303 or this month. Um, $303 is all I would have left to put into that account once I do this paycheck. So my total variables come out to $1,756.87. So if you add these two, I should be at a zero based budget. If I did my math correctly, I did not skip that day. Um, 1480.16 plus 1756.87. So yes, that comes out to 3,237.03. So just some reverse engineering here. So if I take my 2,900, and then take away the 337.03, I'm at a zero. So yeah, so we're all good with this paycheck and that puts me at a zero, which is what I like um, because I am a zero based budgeter. So that is my allocation for paycheck number two for the month of April. And I truly do appreciate it if you've lasted this long in the video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Um, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Like, comment, and share um, with your family and friends. I truly would appreciate it. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.